Hi, it's Brendan from Parkers, and I've got our latest market update report for you. It's a short video, but do stay to the end because I've got some absolutely key information that you're going to need if you're thinking about selling a property anytime in the near future. But without further ado, let's have a look and see what is going on with the market. I mean, firstly, um, West Oxfordshire has seen a significant drop in transaction levels, significantly worse than the southeast. So what's going on? Um, we are a small market. It's a rural area. And so I'm not too concerned. You'll note this only goes up to August. That's because the, that's the latest information that the land registry has available. What we've seen since then is a busier market. And I expect that to continue for reasons that I will come on to. Um, nothing particularly earth shattering here. Um, what I wanted to show you here was the difference in value um, for properties between Carterton, Whitney and Encham, some of the main areas within West Oxfordshire. Uh, and it comes as no surprise that, you know, Carterton tends to come in a bit of a discount with Whitney in the middle and Encham being that much more expensive on the basis of its proximity to Oxford. But I'll leave that there for you to have a look at the detail. What is really significant and what is interesting and what we need to focus on is that inflation, interest rates, the Bank of England rate and the swap rate are all falling. We've just had another interest rate cut and that is what's going to drive the market as we go into 2025. And what's really significant is that we've just seen um, that the number of mortgage approvals is up nearly 50%. And that means that there is buyer intent there and that will drive the market. Um, and there are some key dates that you need to be aware of as we go forward into the new year. Now, looking at what's happened in West Oxfordshire, um, the number of sales agreed each month has been pretty much consistent. You know, about 110 uh, on average um, every month for the last three months. Um, you know, no great surprises that three beds remain the driving force behind the market. Um, but Actually, the busiest part of the market, uh, and this has become even more pronounced, was up to the £400,000 mark. Nearly 60% of all sales were in that sub or up to £400,000 category. And it was the more premium end of the market that was uh, remaining static uh, with fewer sales agreed and less interest from buyers. I suspect um, now that we have um, lower interest rates, that that may start to change, but that's been a real driver. So three beds or up to three beds, less than £400,000 is where we've seen momentum in the West Oxfordshire market. So I promised you some key facts, some things you need to know about and some market milestones. Um, first time buyers will be focusing on the 31st of March, 2025. Uh, that is when the stamp duty goes up for properties that they're looking to buy in West Oxfordshire. And that is when they will be looking to complete deals by. Now is the time for them to buy because what people don't appreciate is that from agreeing a sale to completion takes on average four months. Uh, and you can see, you know, people don't realize the amount of time that it takes to get a transaction through. And always worth mentioning that Boxing Day um, is the busiest day that the portals experience for buyers searching for a new home for the new year. And so if you're wanting to sell um, in 2025, in the first half of the year, really worth getting your property marketing ready for Boxing Day before you put your Christmas decorations up, um, because that always dates some photographs. So plan early is what I'm saying. Um, we've seen two interest rates so far. I think that's probably it for this year, but hopefully a couple more to come next year. But that will drive market sentiment. Um, and some other key facts that you need to be aware of. I was just looking at the very latest data for West Oxfordshire from the Nurture Group. Um, nobody wants to reduce the price of their property um, when it's being marketed. Um, it shows that something has gone wrong, either with um, the marketing or the market has changed, or perhaps more likely that the agent has overvalued it in the first place. The average number of price reductions in West Oxfordshire for the last 12 months has been 56.3%. So 56% of all properties marketed in West Oxfordshire have seen a price reduction. There is a significant variance in agents though. So chancellors, for example, 85.9% of their stock has seen a price reduction. Whereas with Parkers, that's 41.7%. So 
you're less than half as likely to need to reduce your price if you choose an agent that chooses the right or advises you on the right um, value of your home. Um, fall through rates, absolute misery. Um, nationally, it's nearly a third of the properties um, are, are falling through. Um, our regional average is better than that. It's just under 16%. Um, Chancellors are averaging 18% and Parker's 13.5%. Um, but what's really interesting is because properties are taking so long to sell, if you look at the likelihood of your chosen agent being able to sell your property, the West Doctor average for that is 53.1%. Um, ours is 61.9%, so nearly two in three. Um, Chancellor's is 49.9%, so just under a 50-50 chance of them actually successfully selling your property um, if you choose that agent. So choose wisely, understand the market, and if you've got any questions or queries, please do get in touch. We would be absolutely delighted